Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my 100 Days of Leak Code. Uh, it's this new series I'm starting. I'm starting off this YouTube channel. I've been pumped up and think of starting it for a while and, uh, you know, just going to send it. Just going to do it. It's, it's, it's time. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing for the next 100 days, excluding Sundays, we're going to be solving one leak code problem and we're going to be posting it. I found leak code has helped me a lot, uh, especially um, in terms of really understanding how to utilize uh, the different data structures and uh, types of algorithms that you learn about sometimes in theory, um, but they don't sink in, uh, I find, until you really start applying them uh, on a regular basis. So that's what uh, leak code really helps you with, and that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, so let's get right down to it. Day one, 100 days of leak code. Let's go. All right, so our first problem that we're going to be doing is a medium problem, and it's called search a 2D matrix. Uh, it's a pretty good problem. I like it. Um, gets a little bit into uh, runtime complexity uh, when, you, when you think about it, uh, especially when it says write an efficient algorithm. All right, so that sort of um, eliminates you know, the trivial solution, which would just be to um, sort of iterate through the, the uh, matrix, uh, the rows and columns, and uh, return true if you find the, the target or not. But basically what this question is asking us is to write an efficient algorithm. So we got to find something that's better than that uh, O n squared time complexity. So let's do it. Uh, the problem states that we need to write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value target in an n by n integer matrix matrix. This matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row are started from left to right. And the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So essentially not only are the individual rays sorted, um, but you know that every single number in the next row is gonna be greater than every single number in the previous row. Uh, so it's sort of interesting how that is. Uh, they're sorted basically in order. So now what we want to do is essentially we want to do a binary search first to figure out which row we're going to find or not find our target. And then once we get that row, we're going to do another binary search within that row. So it's going to look a little something like this. We're going to first declare our low and high variables. Um, so basically what we're doing here. Uh, for those of you who don't know binary search, I've linked the video in the description. Um, I'm not going to go too into depth explaining uh, how binary search works. I assume you know, and if you don't, you should definitely check out that video. It's by HackerRank. Um, explains it very well. Um, but I'm just going to show you how we can apply it to solve a problem like this. So in binary search, we need to do our, well, low less than equal to uh, high. Oops. And then we need to create our uh, mid variable. And this is going to get created each time during the iteration. All right. So to figure out which row we're going to be into, we need to think about this a little bit. So if we are in a row and the zeroth index of that row, let's say 10, if that's greater than our target value. Well, we're in the wrong row. So what we need to do is we need to start searching in the rows below that row uh, or above if you're looking at a matrix like this. Um, on the other hand, if our target is greater than this number here, the number at the zeroth index of the row, well then if our number is also greater than the last number in that row, we need to start searching the rows above it or beneath it, if you're looking at a matrix like this. So how do we write that code? Basically what we do, if matrix mid zero is greater than target, we're simply gonna reassign high to be mid minus one. And then we're gonna write an else if statement um, matrix uh, mid matrix mid uh, dot length minus one and I have messed up my square brackets greater than equal to target 
Now we're going to return the value, which is going to be a Boolean value of this new function that I'm writing, that I will write in just a second. And then of course, if we don't enter uh, either of those blocks, we're going to simply um, increase uh, our low value. At the end of this uh, search matrix function, we're simply going to be returning false because if we get all the way here, we didn't find the number it doesn't exist in the matrix. And, um, you know, it's kind of all she wrote for that. Anyway, let's write this new function, which is basically uh, going to search row. This is a parameter is simply going to take a, um, a one dimensional array, which right here would be uh, matrix mid. Um, and we can just call that uh, row. And then we're going to take an integer, which is target. And again, we're basically doing binary search one more time. So we need to initialize our two variables. And we can enter the while loop again, create our mid. And now we basically enter this new set of if statements. And it's going to be a little bit different uh, than the ones we just wrote below. And that's just because we're dealing with a one dimensional array as opposed to a two dimensional array. And we're just checking to see if the actual uh, number is there. So simply what we're going to do, we're going to say if row mid equal target, we can just return true. And then else if row mid um, is greater than target, well, now we have a problem. It's not in that row. So what we can do is we can simply say high equals mid minus one. So this basically will start uh, checking the rows um, below it or again, uh, sorry, not, not the rows, the indices uh, to the left of it. Excuse me, that's uh, that's more accurate. And now we're going to write our else statement. Um, and that's basically just going to be us increasing the value of low. And then again, here, uh, we're going to return false at the end of this function. So now we should be able to submit our code and boop and that's why we're not dealing with matrix we are dealing with row here there we go all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it uh you know i never thought i'd be this guy but uh if you enjoyed that if you want to you know see day two day three uh day 78 of the 100 days of lead code um you know, I'd appreciate you liking, subscribing, doing all that nonsense um, that I used to get annoyed by whenever I would watch YouTube or whenever I do watch YouTube. Um, but I'm on the other side now. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for day two.